Welcome back to another Final Cut Pro tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about Instagram Profile Pro from FCPX Full Access. This plugin pack is going to be perfect for anyone wanting to show off an Instagram profile, maybe simulate what something's going to look like in a profile feed, or perhaps send traffic over to an Instagram page. So let's get right into it and learn how to use this pack. So once you've installed Instagram Profile Pro as a title pack in Final Cut Pro, you want to open up Final Cut, and in this top right hand corner, you click the show or hide browser icon, which is those six squares, and you'll find Instagram Profile Pro here in your titles section. As you can see, it's broken down into feed, lower thirds, profile headers, and sidebars. So let's just quickly go through all of these to show you what they do. So our feed plugins here are gonna give you these beautiful animations that give you a flyby of an Instagram profile. Obviously we can populate all of these squares with our own content. This is a really good way to build a simulation for Instagram page uh, with your own content. So let's quickly build one of these. I'll show you how easy it is to make something that looks awesome. So if we double click Instagram feed for, it will drop it straight into the timeline for us. Now what you want to do is select this. In your top right hand corner, you just click the three slide icons to show or hide the inspector. And then to bring up the parameters, we just click the T. And here we are, we're into editing the plugin now. So first things first, we can choose whether you want this to fade out or not. So we can just untick the box and it won't fade out. I quite like the fade out because maybe I want this to be transitioning into the next clip. We can change the background color very easily. We just simply click the box there and obviously this can change the background color. But again, I think white looks great because that's how Instagram looks. Or perhaps we could go with black uh, if you're in dark mode. I'll stick with white. And we can change our icon color. So the three icons at the top of the page here, we can change those to anything we like. But again, I'm just gonna leave that as gray how it was because I think that looks cool. So when this animates, you can see that we've got one through to nine, and these are drop zones where we can put our custom content and build our custom Instagram profile. So the numbered boxes here correspond with the drop zones in the published parameters. And all we need to do is click on the drop zone here. In our left hand side, we go and open our library by clicking the clapperboard in the top left. And then you just simply select the media that you want to fill the drop zone with. So all I do is I click the photo that I want to use, and I click apply clip. And you see straight away that's dropped it into our into our drop zone. If I wanted to move the image at all, I simply move these pan height options and I can change the scale as well. A top tip with the scale sliders is to always make sure that you have the same percentages here. So if you're gonna make it 120% on the X scale, I would also do that on the Y scale. And then your image stays in the same ratios. But I like it at 100% where it was and I'm gonna leave these where they were too. So it's all central. Now we simply replicate this process nine times to fill our Instagram profile. So I'll just do that really quickly now. And as easy as that, we've just created an entire Instagram profile that's gonna animate on its own in Final Cut Pro. So let's see how that looks. Really, really cool. So if that animation is a little slow for your edit, perhaps you want it to be a bit faster or even a bit slower, all you need to do is drag the title clip so it's shorter. And we'll have a look at that a bit faster. That's really, really cool. Okay, so let's explore the next part of this pack. So we also have our lower thirds. So let's double click on lower third one and drop it into our project. As you can see, this is really nicely animated with our profile picture and then we can give a shout out to perhaps our Instagram handle and our location. So this is a really, really easy one to edit. All we're gonna do is do the same as we did last time. We come up here, we click the three sliders in the top right to open up our inspector and onto the T and that will open up our published parameters where we can work on the plugin. So this first drop zone at the top is gonna change our profile image. All we need to do here is just click on the drop zone go into our clapperboard on the top left, and then we can pick our profile picture that we wanted to use. I have this lady on the beach, so I click on her and I click apply clip. And there you go, straight away. That looks pretty awesome, just straight away, but I might want to play with the pan, maybe move her head up slightly, so I just take this Y pan slider and I just slide it along, I think about minus 50 looks about right. That looks cool. If you wanted to customize the background or the icon colors in this plugin, it's also possible. All we need to do here is click on the color board here and we can change the color how we like. 
maybe a yellow like that looks quite cool or I might want to use the eyedropper here to pick some sort of color out of the image that we're using there. So that looks quite cool, I like that. And again with the icon colors we just do the same again and we could perhaps select one of the colors from the ring maybe. That looks great. Then we simply change our username here, so let's leave the at where it is. We're going to go at, let's say she's called Cindy Smith. We just do that and we can change our fonts and our sizes and our tracking. And I'm just going to change her location. Let's say she is from Hawaii, USA. And just like that we have a beautiful lower third. Let's see how that looks. Obviously a lower third is supposed to sit above footage, so to do that we would simply have a clip in our timeline. Let's say we have this picture here, I'm just going to scale it up, and let's just imagine this is moving, and then we simply drag the lower third on top of the image. And that will look a little something like this. Awesome. Okay, so let's check out the next thing in this pack. So next we have profile headers, and these are a really useful tool for sending traffic to a profile or perhaps shouting out your own profile page. Let's check out profile header three here. So we're just going to double click and drop it into the timeline. So all of the profile headers come pre-animated. They start on the profile picture and they move across to reveal the information or profile header two also has a description option. You can see how this would work perfectly in a video where you're trying to shout out your Instagram page or perhaps shouting out someone else's Instagram page. So once again, to make this your own, I would just click on the plugin. I would come up here to your, your slider icons, click on them, your T, so that we're editing. And again, our profile image here is this first drop zone. So all we do is click this, go to our clapperboard once again, and let's pick our profile picture of Cindy, apply clip, and there she is. Again, I'm just going to bring her up slightly using the Y pan option. I might make her a little larger as well. Let's make it 60% uh, on both actually bring her down slightly there we go that looks really good and then Cindy's username is at Cindy Smith we can change our background colors so we could have a different color if you have a theme in your video or if you want nothing at all and you just want it to be transparent background you simply unclick this box but white works great for us right now and then all we need to do is populate these text boxes to change her stats and her username so I'm gonna change this to Cindy Smith that was really easy, it took 20 seconds. Let's take a look how that looks. Perfect, that looks absolutely great. So lastly we have our sidebar options and this is where we can simulate what an Instagram post would look like opened on a desktop. So we have four options in sidebar. We have sidebar one and sidebar two and the difference between these is in sidebar one, the description is on the right hand side, sidebar two, description is on the left hand side. The drop zones allow you to populate the left hand side or the right hand side with your custom media so it just makes it that bit easier for you guys. So let's use sidebar one plus the drop zone. We just double click and it drops it into our timeline. So again these come pre-animated and they look great out of the box. All you need to do is populate them with your own custom content. Again we just click on the plugin, we go to the top right hand side, we click on the three sliders, we come to T and that's where our published parameters are. On this plugin you have the option for it to build in or not so at the start we have this slide in but we can get rid of that by just simply unchecking this box and that means that we just start straight away with no build in but I think the build in looks really really good and professional so I'm going to click this box. Straight away we have the option again to change the background colour. I personally like white because that's how Instagram looks. We have the line accent colour and this is the line that animates down our image. I'm going to leave that white because it matches the background. And again, we can change our icon colors here or by simply clicking the box here and selecting the color that you would like to use. I like the gray though. Now we simply use our drop zone to populate it with our custom content. Drop zone one is going to be our main image. So we click this and I'm going to create with this surfer girl here. I'm just gonna move her up slightly. And then you can see here we have image scale in. If you leave this checked, the image is going to scale in slowly throughout the animation. If we uncheck this, then it's not going to scale in at all. 
But I really like leaving it scaling in. This gives it a really dynamic and professional look. And we can change how far we want that scale in as well. So we could change it to 40% if you really like the scale in. Our next drop zone again is our profile image here. So we simply click the drop zone and we come across to our media and we select our profile picture. Cindy here once again. And then you can see we have our text boxes and this is to change all the text content of our post. Again, you can change all of the font, the sizes, the colors, the tracking, everything. So I'm just gonna simply populate this with Cindy Smith once again. And she's from Hawaii, as we know, USA. We can change our number of likes. And our description here. And I think you can make this look really legitimate by adding in an emoji, something that you would actually get on a mobile phone. And all you need to do to get an emoji is a simple Google search of the emoji you're looking for. And copy and paste it into your description. And it's as easy as that. So let's just take a quick watch of how that looks. So that about wraps up everything we've got to show you today. I hope you enjoy Instagram Profile Pro. It's gonna really excel your edits and take them to the next level, being able to shout out Instagram profiles and create custom content in Instagram profiles in seconds instead of hours or days building your own. This is a really stylistic and cool pack and I think you guys are gonna have a great time with it. So stay creative and we'll see you in the next tutorial.